Hey guys. So as you can see, the not all the snow has melted, but um, Don is a little impatient and he wants to get started with setting the cement for the post that we need to set up for the chimney support. And I understand because it's also still cold that we need hot water. So let's see what his plan is. Hi, honey. What's the plan? You look great in the hat. Yes. Catch. So what's the plan? Before or after my heart attack. <laughs> God no. So um oh wow, look. So we need hot water, right? For the cement because it's fairly cold. So do you want me to stop? Listen, what about if I start a fire in the Dakota fire pit and heat up some water? But it's really far, it's 150 feet away. It's it's all the way over there. Who's gonna carry all that water here? Um, how about how about if we we melt some snow? <laughs> we don't need a lot of water? How much water do you need? <laughs> In ounces or gallons, can you tell us? A couple of pints. Do you want me to go um heat up some water? Oh, I thought it needed to be really, really hot, like boiling hot. No, just, okay. Look at the look that he gives me. <laughs> he puts those cow eyes. <laughs> it's a fancy hat for this kind of work. Wait till I get your bill. <laughs> Si algo te debo, con esto te pago. Si algo te debo, con esto te pago. <laughs> Just put your leg in there to see how deep it is. <laughs> it's raining, honey. I don't think it's a good time to do this. And then on top of that, we're gonna put two of these, two four by fours, these are 10 footers. And then on top of it, we're gonna put um, two by fours. We have to elevate the chimney support past the dome. Look at this man, he's amazing. It's lined up now. We're lining up the two four by four posts. What from the wall of the um, of the yurt to the post, seventeen inches? Perfect. What's next? Lunch. lunch. <laughs> you haven't earned your lunch yet. There's more to do. What's next? no patience he's insisting on doing this and I hope it works well I had a chat with the engineer and he said it's okay so long as we use hot water mm -hmm. 
These cement bags are 50 pounds each. They're, oops. They're the Quick Readers Corp. Fast setting cement. So the posts are temporarily balanced with these um, slabs from the lattice that we had left over. Okay, we have a level on. Let me just walk around here and see the twin towers, he says. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, it looks good. So we pour the uh, quick crete. We just pour it dry right into the holes. And then later we pour hot water on it. So that's why I'm the project director. <laughs> I don't have to carry heavy bags. But truth be told, if I had to, I would and I could. I'm gonna head back to the house and get um, two quarts of hot water so Don can pour it into that quick crete cement mix. And I'm gonna walk very carefully so I do not slip. Two quarts of hot water. It's two quarts for each 50 pound bag? Okay. Just a little bit less than a bag. Just a little bit less water. Some of it's escaping anyway. It does matter. You're not supposed to have any openings and cracks. Fill that gap with some cement. See that? Yeah. You have any water left over? Okay. We're gonna cover it with this insulation that we have. And then we're gonna put a plastic wrap to protect it from the elements. So we were waiting for the snow to melt from the blizzard we had a few days ago. But look, now we have another snowstorm. It does look pretty magical, so beautiful, but Mother Nature is not letting us work on the wood burning stove installation. So I'm going to be sharing with you all uh, some other projects that I've been working on for upgrades to the yurt.